This and all the ministry that happens at FaithBridge is possible because you committed to go all in. Thank you. Hi, I'm Connections Director Mary Ann Reed. And I'm Justin Teague, Worship and Communications Pastor at FaithBridge. We want to give you a year-end update of some of the highlights of what God has been doing in and through the lives of FaithBridgers this past year. I'm so excited to tell you that we had over 900 new visitors at FaithBridge in 2014. Plus, many more are expected at our Christmas Eve services in just a few days. And 176 of you went through the FB 101 classes to learn more about FaithBridge. And we've celebrated over 20 believer baptisms. We all know that the true story of discipleship can't be told through numbers, but through the individual one-on-one -on -one relationships that happen every day. Thank you for continuing to be a pivotal part of our all-in story. We're so encouraged by what God is doing in and through the lives of Faith Bridgers as we reach out and build bridges of faith to our neighbors and our world. I'm excited about what our young adult ministry has been up to. We continue to worship every week here at the Klein campus and at Alamo Draft House Cinema about once a month. Our small group missional communities are stronger than ever. We are reaching out to the young adults in our community and we're making plans to expand our reach to the growing population of young adults in the Woodlands. And our other local bridging efforts have never been stronger. We organized the church has left the building, sending 500 people from our congregation into local parks, schools, and senior centers to serve on Super Bowl Sunday. Later in the year, we hosted 4,500 children and adults at our annual fall festival. Globally, we've sent mission teams to Honduras, El Salvador, France, Zambia, Mozambique, and India. We've drilled wells, spread the gospel, and even taught 180 leaders in those countries best practices that will equip them to make disciples in their own countries long after we've gone. Thank you for your continued commitment to fulfill the mission that God has set before us. Here are just a few of the life-changing activities that the FaithBridge Student Ministry got to be a part of in 2014. We're praising God for the huge ways that He made Himself known to our students. 31 students symbolized their new life in Christ as disciples through baptism in 2014. And many students are taking ownership of their faith, participating in ongoing discipleship in microgroups and small groups, and by partnering with four new student-led campus associations at local schools. We believe that parents are crucial in the continued growth of students, and that's why we're committed to equip parents with tools and resources. 142 adults attended our parent workshops in 2014, and we look forward to continuing our parent partnership campaign through 2015. Our student mission program, The Road, sent out 256 students and leaders to seven different sites in 2014. Students put their faith in action as they serve the least, the last, and the lost. Locally and abroad, we initiated 17 new outreach projects with our mission partners. Journeys outside Houston included a newly developed site in New Orleans, a Navajo reservation in Arizona, and a trip to El Salvador. As the new year begins, we're looking forward to what God has lined up for us in 2015. It's been such an amazing year at FaithBridge for grow groups and serve teams. Currently, we have 1,668 Faith Bridgers engaged in life-changing biblical community of growth groups. And we've raised up 38 new leaders and held four leader trainings, equipping 437 group leaders in 2014. Looking ahead to the new semester, let me encourage you to get involved in the life-changing biblical community that is found best in grow groups. Start by looking at the details in your bulletin, then stop by the Connection Center with any question. In 2014, hundreds of faith bridgers served in so many big and small ways. In just the fourth quarter, nearly 100 people helped in the rain to move kids' ministry furnishings from the portables to the permanent classrooms. 250 faith bridgers wrapped and served hot dogs, manned game booths, and showed Jesus' love to kids in costume at the Fall Festival, and dozens decorated the facility for Christmas. And throughout the year, many of you showed up to serve regularly as ushers, parking attendants, bulletin stuffers, and camera operators. You do lawn maintenance, teach our kids about Jesus, and set up the chairs in the worship venues each week. Each task is appreciated and necessary to make FaithBridge a welcoming place. Thank you for going all in. 2014 was a historic year in kids ministry at FaithBridge. It's amazing to think that we broke ground last February and just 10 months later, opened the doors to our new kids ministry building. 
In 2014, we were privileged to celebrate 26 Children's Decisions for Christ and 35 infant baptisms. In June, we welcomed over 800 kids and nearly 300 servers to Vacation Bible School. And we had 179 kids attend Pine Cove Camp. Our kids also put shoe leather on their faith and collected over 5,700 pairs of socks and underwear for Title I schools in our area. Fifth graders show the love of Christ by collecting items for local families in need, praying for kids in shelters, and sharing rainbow loom bracelets with kids in schools who just need to know about Jesus. We are so grateful for the hundreds of you who have stepped in to serve on Sunday mornings to help make meaningful ministry for the kids here at Faith Ridge. Finally, after moving all of the furniture, toys, and ministry supplies from the portables in November, we welcomed the whole community to bring their families for the grand opening of the kids' building on November 30th. The new space is fun and colorful and includes tons of exciting state-of-the-art technology that makes it a happy place to be. But what makes it truly special is that it allows us to reach more kids for Jesus in a way that's relevant to each child. Thank you again for sharing your precious children with us. We're excited to give you an update on our new FaithBridge Worship Campus in the Woodlands. After many months of planning and recruiting, we start meetings in the Woodlands in January. If you live in the Woodlands area or are interested in being involved with this new campus, join us. We're meeting at the YMCA on Creekside each Sunday in January at 5 p.m. The weekly gatherings are family friendly as we build community. The address and directions of the Creekside YMCA are included at the website faithbridge.org slash the woodlands. We are eager to continue to build and develop our new congregation with current Faith Bridgers and others who haven't been introduced to Faith Bridge or Jesus yet. And we're preparing to launch our regular worship services in the woodlands beginning in February with the same honest, thought-provoking sermons, engaging music, and dynamic kids ministry that's so distinctive to Faith Bridge. We are forming new home-based grow groups in the Woodlands now so that we can offer great local connection points to new attenders. We have two dozen adults already committed and trained to shepherd your kids at the new campus. And we're forming new teams of volunteers who will faithfully set up chairs and move the trailers when they arrive in the weeks ahead. If you can't join us in person, join us in prayer that Faith Bridge in the Woodlands will reach many families in the years to come. All of the things that you've heard so far and everything you see around you here, they're all possible because faith bridgers like you roll up your sleeves and go all in every day. Over a year ago, I challenged the church to take part in a new discipleship initiative to go all in for our family, our neighbors, and our world. The first phase of our neighbors initiative, the new kids ministry building is complete now. And as you just learned, phase two is well underway with the opening of a new campus in the Woodlands in January. I'm humbled to see how the Lord works through the ministries of this church and how he continues to use us to make more and stronger disciples who make more and stronger disciples. And I can't wait to see what he has planned for us in 2015. Thank you for going all in and Merry Christmas.